Now let's move on to declaration of conformity. What I've done is I went and I looked at the list of requirements that are published in the regulations as far as what's required in a declaration of conformity. And I went ahead and analyzed those to see if there's any variances. And what we can see here as I go down the list is there really aren't, we are in alignment. So if you look at number one, unique ID of the EEE. Number two, name and address of manufacturer or authorized representative. Number three, a statement that the declaration of conformity is issued under the sole responsibility of the, the manufacturer or installer. And then number four, object of the declaration, uh, which may include some traceability information, model number, serial number, lot number, whatever, okay? So those requirements are all the same, nothing new there. Going down the list further, we can see that uh, item number five, we have to have a statement that the object of the declaration is in conformity with the relevant statutory requirements and then list those, right? In this case, the EU DOC requirements also requires you to list the relevant directives and regulations, but in the case of ROSE has a specific statement you must make uh, that you comply with the EU ROSE directive uh, 2011 65 EU, et cetera. So you have to put the whole title in there that's in the actual directive itself. So although the the information is the same. The actual text you have to put in is slightly different, of course, because you're referencing different regulations. Then the next one is item number six. You have to reference the designated standards or harmonized standards. And then any additional information that's required should be included and then it needs to be signed, um, name, function, signature, that kind of thing. So when I compare the two lists of requirements that need to go into the DOC, they're in alignment. There's nothing new in the UK DOC that's not required in the EU DOC, although the actual information will be different. Learn more by viewing the full-length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.